Shalom. Before I begin this video, first and foremost, I'm going to give all praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh. Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai, Baha Shem, Rechakodash. A double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone that continue to rule very well to this very day, that is continually feeding the flock through the spirit and power of Yahweh Baha Shem, Yahweh Shai. And also Shalom to the Hofi Lek. There's also labor in this labor of love that's giving you due diligence to make your calling and election sure in faith and truth and sincerity and all charity. There's the brother Masha from the uh, Birmingham, Alabama camp. You know, coming back with another video. Uh, it's going to be a, a spiritual warm up you know, before um, I hit the camp. And uh, I believe I'm going to title this video as uh, Deliverance from the Noise and Pestilence. You know, and that was something that I uh, I mentioned in a, in a previous video concerning um, the noise from the thermonuclear missiles in which the scriptures, when you read about the destruction of Babylon, which is known as today as America, you find out that America is going to be destroyed by ICBM, which is intercontinental ballistic uh, which uh, the word ICBM means inter um, intercontinental ballistic missile. That's what. That's how the Lord is going to destroy this place, America, which again is Babylon the Great. You know, that's the device that the Lord is going to use to uh, bring down the kingdom of Edom, which that's the true biblical nationality of the so-called white man, in which he's ruling over the planet Earth today, and he resides over Babylon. And that's going to be the noise or the noisome pestilence that's going to uh, that's going to hit America, and which really that's the last plague, which is spoken about in Zechariah, the uh, 14th chapter, if I'm not mistaken. Um, yeah, Zechariah, the, uh, the 14th chapter, concerning uh, the plague, which is going to come upon everybody that fought against Jerusalem, and which that's really the majority of the world, because. The majority of the world can accept this this uh, this this this, uh, this gospel. It's only meant for the nation of Israel, starting with the elect. And really, the world is is the, the, the whole entire planet Earth, or should I say, the, the inhabitants of the Earth, outside of the elect, is fighting against the elect. All right, and really, it's not us that they're coming up against. Really, they're coming up against Yahweh Bashem Yah Shai, and which that's the spirit because. Um, the elect is that governing body that the Lord has set up. So, by the people coming up against the, the governing body, they're coming up against Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shai. All right, but again, you know that pestilence is going to come by uh, the noisome pestilence, or the, the last plague, which is going to come by the ICBMs. You know, uh, Yahweh Shai is the one who is going to deliver us from that same pestilence, that same uh, plague. All right, and our uh, Lord's will, I get the word uh, noisome here in a little bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and jump into the precepts. This is uh, Judges, the fifth chapter, and this is at the 11th verse. It says, They that are delivered from the noise of archers, right? And this lets you know it's talking this, really the scripture is going to the missiles because when it comes to archers, you know, in archery. You know, you can't hear an arrow being shot off. All right. You know that's that's a silent uh, weapon. If you watch on movies, you know, like uh, uh, Rambo. I believe it's the the second to last one because the last, there's another one that's coming out, which I think is going to be the last one. Um, you see that uh, Sylvester Stallone, who played as Rambo used the arrow all right and he was going through in the uh the shadows and he was using the, the bow and arrow and they didn't know and, and they couldn't figure out what you know uh, uh that they were being uh taken down because that's a silent weapon so really when the scripture's going to the noise of archers that's talking about the missiles because once those missiles are shot that that sound's going to be heard throughout the entire planet earth and the destruction also of america is going to be heard and seen throughout the planet earth okay so again it says they that are delivered from the noise of archers in the places of drawing waters there 
they shall rehearse and who's the day that's talking about he's talking about the elect of the nation of israel which lord's will were a part of that number so it says uh they uh, uh they there uh, shall they rehearse the righteous acts of the lord yahweh and what's and what's the righteous acts of the lord that's to doing his work all right being attentive to to the word And on top of things like that, like keeping the high holy days, the Sabbaths, you know, those are the righteous acts of the Lord. And we, we are to rehearse those righteous acts. And the reason why it says we are to rehearse it because that word rehearse means to practice. All right. It means to practice, to get ready. In other words, we're in the rehearsing stage. All right. But when the nation of Israel is established once more, then that's when we're going to perform it to its entirety. All right. That's when we're going to perform the law, the statutes and the commandments to the fullest. All right. So we're going to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Right. And this is the place of drawing waters. Because uh, an act of drawing water is a, 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 a slave, a, a, an act of slavery. All right. When you draw water, that's that's a subservient uh, task. When you draw water, also when you grind grind mill, you know those things like that, man. Those are subservient uh, uh, acts. Okay, so the place of drawing waters, right, which we're in, which is America, this is the place of our captivity. We ought to rehearse the righteous acts of the Lord. Okay, it says uh, even the righteous acts toward the inhabitants of his villages in Israel. Then shall the people of the Lord Yahweh about Shemel Shai go down to the gates. And we've been going into the gates lately. Uh, you know, the topic concerning the gates. And we are the gates. All right. We're, we're the gates, man. The gates are the ones who are who are the judges. All right. And you know what the scriptures say about being a judge. It says he that is spiritual judges all things. Okay. So you got to go to the, the men who are of the spirit of Yahweh about Shemel Shai. All right, and then from there you're you're either allowed into into the uh, into the the city, all right, in which not the not a physical city, but you know what I'm talking about. So it's either you're allowed into the city of Jerusalem, all right, New Jerusalem, or or you're uh, you're turned away. Okay, but it first starts with uh, either you know who you are or you don't. If you don't know who you are, and if you can't recall your nationality, you know, and your heritage, then, then there's no way that you're going to come into the gates. All right? Because what the Lord has appointed us to be the gatekeepers. Okay? Now, I'm going to go ahead and move on from there. Um, it's like it. Uh, yeah, bear with me. I came up and, uh, on the road right now, you know, dealing with knuckleheads. Uh, this is a book of Psalms, the 91st chapter. This is at the third verse. Uh, it's like you one second. Okay, this is at the uh, third verse. It's like you says, Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Okay? And I want to look up that word noisome, right? here is uh hawa right hawa and i believe uh let's see if i can grab this one real quick it's out of curiosity's sake i didn't look up this word beforehand so i'm um, pulling up this word to see uh how much meat i can get off this bone right so the word hawa and if you go into the definitions, it'll say desire, right? But if you go further down into the uh, definitions, it means uh, engulfing rain. See? Engulfing rain. Now, what is that engulfing rain? That engulfing rain is, is, is those thermonuclear missiles, man. Now, if you actually 
Let me pull up a quick picture. Revelation is the uh, ninth chapter, and um, start at the 15th verse. It says, And the four angels were loosed, which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men. Now, with scriptures, or well, this, this particular uh, verse, where it says the, the four angels which are loosed. Those are the four angels that are standing on the four four winds of the earth, or the four corners of the earth, which you read about it in our uh, Revelations, the seventh chapter. And they're holding the four winds of the earth, and, and those winds are the destruction. Okay, so right now the four angels are standing on the four corners of the earth, and they're holding back the destruction until the elect 144,000 is all woken up and they're in their proper lot. Okay, it says. Uh, uh, verse 15 again it says and the four angels were loosed which were prepared for an hour and a day and a month and a year for to slay the third part of men now where it says the third part of men that is going into the wicked because if you go into the bible it specifies the people as three classifications okay you have the sons of the most high the sons of god right you have which are the nation of Israel okay and then you had a righteous line before Israel which stemmed all the way back to Adam and then that line went all the way down to uh, Abraham and then to Isaac and unto Jacob all right so that chosen line right now it stemmed down to Israel, which consists primarily of the so-called Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. And then you have the confusion of face that is that are also scattered abroad throughout the four corners of the earth, whose lines go back to Jacob. And then you have the sons of the sons of men, who are the other nations, right? Like uh, the ones who I'll give you an example, like Ishmael. And then you have Moab and Ammon. And then you have uh, Ham, Cush. So those, those are the sons of men. All right. And then thirdly, right, which the scripture who is, who is this talking about, the third part of men, that's, those are the sons of the wicked. All right. Now, the sons of the wicked have been picked out or have been appointed to be the Edomites. In which, again, Edom is the nationality or the true nationality of the so-called white man. So that's why they have rulership in the end times. This is why they have their rulership now in the final days so that the Lord can judge them. All right, They're, they have been set up to be a part of the climax of the story that you see right now unfold, unfolding before your very eyes. All right. Now that we got the understanding, let's read on. Verse 16. And the number of the army of the horsemen, right? And it's not talking about literal literal horsemen. Okay. Really, this is going into the missiles. Okay. That's the army that the Lord is going to use, which is also known as his device to destroy Babylon. Now, if you it's going to tell you how many they are. It says, in a number of the army of the horsemen were 200,000 thousand. Now, I don't have a calculator or anything to calculate that number out, but that's an innumerable amount of missiles. Okay? And I heard the number of them. So, again, that's the, uh, the noisome pestilence. And again, like I read earlier, the definition of the word noisome it says engulfing rain all right what else does it say destruction calamity all right the, the destructive 
uh, pestilence. The 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 uh, the pestilence which is uh, pertaining unto calamity. That's that's talking about the missiles. Okay. Now, if you read more in the Strong's definition, right, it says in a sense of eagerly. It says eagerly coveting and rushing upon uh, by implication of falling. All right. It says also ruin, calamity. All right. It says, uh, yeah, that's it on that, I believe. Yep. That's it on that word. Again, it says, uh, verse 3, Psalm chapter 91, verse 3. It says, surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. Now, we just read the definition of noisome. All right. Now, uh, uh, at verse 4, it says, he shall cover thee with his feathers and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. And that's right. This is our defense. All right. This truth is our defense. Uh, Isaiah, the uh, 33rd chapter. In the sixth verse where it says wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of our times and the fear of the lord is our treasure all right it's also the strength of our salvation so with that being said that goes right along with this scripture where it says uh, this, this truth is our shield and buckler okay now the part where it says he shall cover thee with his feathers and his wings shalt thou trust it's talking about being delivered from the noise noise of archers right into the chariots and the chariots if you can't receive it those that are just now listening the chariots are known as the people call them as so-called ufos all right those are the chariots of the lord that's the vehicle that the lord is going to use to deliver his elect from the noise and pestilence all right Uh, verse 5 it says thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by terror by night nor for the arrow see there is a word arrow again it says nor for the arrow that flieth by day nor for the pestilence that walketh in darkness nor for the destruction that wasteth at noonday right now you already know about noonday because uh, noon noon is the height